right, here they go. Looks like they're ready to get the green. Sammy Silva brings them down to the turn four starting line. Green is out. Qualifying for the young guns. Sammy Silva sputters a bit. And moving up is Matthew Lambert. Kale Skillings tries to split up the upright there as he goes between everybody. Works his way underneath Bella Mancella and underneath the guy who beat him last week. Bella working her way to the outside. Chris Phelps trying to get up to speed here. Bella Mancella, Chris Phelps drops the third, then Matt Lambert and Sammy Silva. Skillings back up to form after a uh, spotty run last week. Bella Mancella running second. Last week's winner, Chris Phelps. Had some problems with the car, I think, in practice today. Lambert, really only his third or fourth time on the racetrack. Still not quite used to the car. Going by everybody with a lap to go. Even Bella slides by Chris Phelps. Don't know what to happen with his car. It was really strong last week. And the win goes to Kill Skillings. Lightning stocks will be coming up. They'll reset the lineup and come out for a 10 lap feature here later on. Here they come. Eight lap qualifier number one for the Lightning Stocks. Stebbins dives to the outs inside of the 12. Everybody else goes to the outside. Goffin goes to the inside. It's Barden, Stebbins, Fultz, Petropolis, Goffin, Stevens, and Holbrook. Alex Barden. And another second generation Stebbins driver, Dylan Stebbins. John Fultz. Check that, Chris Foltz in the 35. Bobby Petropolis, Ian Stevens. Somebody sounds a little funky out there going into two. Matt Goffin on the outside making some moves here. Ian Stevens finally moves up at the halfway mark. Petropolis drops back a spot. Barton, Stebbins, Goffin, Fultz, Stevens, and Petropolis. Goffin and Stebbins bang together coming off of turn four. And Goffin moves into second spot, looks inside. Boaters down into turn three. And with two to go, Matt Goffin will grab the lead.
White flag coming up. Check that. White flag. Goffin, Barton, Stebbins, Fultz, Stevens, Petropolis, and Holbrook. And a win. Matt Goffin takes the fifth 68 to victory. Barton holds on for second. Stebbins third, Fultz fourth, and Stevens fifth. If he wins his heat, he'll celebrate like he just won the Indy 500. So watch that. Here they come. Kennison and Fultz make the quick jump out. Hillary Renault thinking about going there. She goes to the inside, three wide down the back stretch. And it's Kennison, Fultz, Renault, Phillips, hang on, Kaylee. The 29, I think, might be inaccurate. Not for sure, but that. Here's the 32. John Fultz looking inside Leon Kennison. Cranks it up and takes the lead here on lap three. Fultz, Renault, Kennison dropping to third. Phillips fourth, fifth is Simmons. John Fultz at the halfway mark, your leader in the 32. Miller Renault moving up a notch. Kaylee Simmons gets around Randall Phillips. First time she's raced on the racetrack, all the way up from Andover, Connecticut. Or after run down at Waterford than here, but not tonight. Two to go. John Fultz, Hillary, Renault. White flag, one to go. Coming down for the checkers, John Fultz rolls off turn four, gets the win. Renault second, Kennison third, then Simmons and Phillips. And moving up from the lightning stocks in the seven will be Mike Radzuk, Mike Radzuk in the set. Whoa, Billy goes all the way around, and everybody goes by. Billy backs it down the track. They better get it out of the way before they get off the corner. He's waiting for a caution. He finally gets it. Had to put a new transmission in it this week, change carburetors. Radzuk and Chafee, here they come. Billy Chafee trying to work out of the back of the field. Marsh and Jacobs fighting it out here. Jacobs by a nose. Chafee dives across the infield. Still not able to get around the seven. Jacobs and Marsh, both of them have had a win so far this year, as has your point leader. The only guy in that foursome that has not been to victory lane is McKnight, and he's due halfway through this one. Mm -hmm. 
working their way off the corner. Two to go. Marsh finally gets the edge. Ethan Marsh works to the outside. Pearl goes up the outside. Jacob starts to fade a little bit. One lap left. Ethan Marsh, Alexander Pearl, Darren Jacobs slowing up, and even McKnight goes by. A little trail of smoke there. That may not be good for Darren Jacobs. Coming down for the checkered flag, it's going to be Ethan Marsh, Alexander Pearl, Kevin McKnight, top three. Limping across the line in fourth will be Darren Jacobs. Whoa, look out, Billy. Billy Chafee apparently didn't notice he was slowing up and almost drove right up his uh, header pipes there. Here they come. This Tim Paquette jumps out in the lead to complete the first circuit. Paquette, Mayer, Snow, followed by Poole and Snow and Kimball. Three wide down the back stretch. Hang on, baby. Who's going to come out on the short end of that one? It looks like it'll be Shelby. Now Louis Mayer takes over. Louis Mayer has been to Victory Lane once this year. Currently second in points by 26 behind Alexander Pearl, our point leader. And here comes Matthew. He didn't want to hang around any longer. Matt Kimball, the winner last time out, comes charging out of the pack and on his way. Matt Kimball. He'll be one of the cars to watch tonight in the feature event. Halfway for the 40 of Nadine Coates. Nadine having a little trouble just trying to stay out of the way as they come by to complete two to go. Everybody likes to experiment with the high banks. Nadine is learning what she has to do to get the car to be better next time. White flag, Mayer, Kimball, Paquette and Houle. Matt Kimball sets up on the outside, runs up on the back bumper, looks inside, backs away, Louis Mayer drifts high, Kimball comes down to the inside, Mayer will take the win, Kimball second, Paquette third, Houle fourth, Snow fifth, and Finishing out the field in the 40 will be Nadine Coates. See if he can make it what he wants. Here they come for eight in this qualifier on their way. Scott Beck takes him into turn one, almost turned it around. Everybody has to check up. Justin Littlewood wants to go by in the inside. Beck gives him no room. Littlewood rides high. Here comes the ride more car. Jeff Rollins going to take it right to the front of the field. Rollins drives underneath everybody. Scoreboard's out. We'll get it back in a minute. Don't worry. Off the corner they come. Rollins, Littlewood, Beck. Then it's Courier, Leary. McGoldrick, dro McGoldrick dropping out. So you've got the 0-2 for Jeff Rollins just cranking it up. Cole Littlewood. Ryan Courier charging out of the turn. He's got a little more time here.
Two to go. Here comes Jeff Rollins, Justin Littlewood, Ryan Courier, Tyler Leary, and Scott Beck. White flag for Rollins. Littlewood getting off of four a little bit better. Ryan Courier trying to take it to him. Leary doesn't have any room there. Checkered flag goes to Jeff Rollins. Justin Littlewood, Ryan Courier, and Tyler Leary. Top four of the qualifiers. Looking for the start at the cone. There it is. Everybody on the gas as they float off turn four and then nail it. Nancy Munich takes him off of turn two with a lead. Fighting the wheel is Littlewood. On the outside is Pomasco. Monahan hadn't decided which way he's going with it. Pomasco and Muni will fight for the lead here on lap two, and Muni will take it. Pomasco a little bit way on the outside. Not a good spot unless you're set up for it. Swings wide off of four. And Littlewood noses in in turn two. Slips up behind Nancy. Pomasco goes to the outside. Back they come. Precision driving. Could think it was uh, Joey Chitwood here. Muni has it all to herself now. Littlewood moves into second. Monahan moves up. Pomasco's going to choose the outside anyway. And Sardell. Trailing. Three down, or should I say three to go. Nancy Muni hanging on to the lead with Cole Littlewood and Joel Monahan. Monahan would like to break Tyler Leary's stranglehold on Victory Lane. He had one three weeks ago. Chris Curtis had one, as did Tyler. Muni and Pomasco. No one else has won. One to go now for Nancy Muni. Cole Littlewood. And Joel Monahan. Those will be the three qualifiers. Coming down for the checkers. Muni takes it. Going second is Littlewood. Monahan, Monahan is third. Pomasco fourth. Sardell fifth. Besides the 15, Connecticut. Looking for the green this time by. Touring modified at the high banks of Monadnock. On the gas. Past react. Alexander under the M6. Excuse me, Dalen Cope the M6. Moves up in the second spot. Kurt Alexander battling to hold on to that third position. Pastriak from Jewett City, Connecticut. CCP Racing Inc. Bill Dolly's Collision and M.B. Williams Builder underwrite their racing activity. Still all past react. The Kennedy behind the wheel, the 29 temp numbers on that car. He is low and back in the back of the pack. Not a position that McKennedy is used to by any means. 15 laps is a lot different than 125. Seven on the board and counting. We're halfway there. And it's all 
Chris Pastriak in that 15 Connecticut. Darling Cope trying to make a run at the leader. Alexander in the 43 right on his bumper as the laps clip down. Pastriak with a little wiggle coming out of turn number four. Gathers it back in, still four car lengths separate him and Mueller. Two laps to go, two more times around the high bank. High bank turns of the Nadnock Speedway. White flag at the point, the 15 Connecticut, Chris Pastriak. Dallin Copic, the M6 and the 43 of Kirk Alexander. Checkered flag is out and Pastriak takes the first of two E races. Rowan Pennock finishing in fourth position. And Tommy Barrett Jr. in the number nine car finishing in fifth. Green flag is up. And TJ Ballou jumps out He's got Hinkley right on his shoulder going into turn number one. At the end of lap number one. This Hinkley looks down on the low side of the racetrack and puts that Safco machine number 21 into the, into the lead. Oh, bonsai move going. And they touch. And TJ Ballou comes out the worst for wear on that one. Avery in the 99 car trying to make some excitement happen. As he is up trying to close the gap on our leader. Les Hinkley. Driving away from the rest of the field. Half a straightaway lead as we come, come up on lap number seven. 15 in duration. Les Hinkley in command. It's a little wiggle coming out of turn four, but no fault, no foul. Five laps remain. It's all Les Hinkley in that 21 Sefco car. Mike Holdridge in the zero. Good starting spot at the beginning of this heat race, but he has managed to work his way back. Seventh position. Two laps remain, two more times around. White flag is out. This will be the final lap for qualifying. And it's Hinkley and 
Richard Savory in the number 99 in the 15 New Hampshire. First, second, and third. Checkered flag is out. From flag to flag, Les Hinckley in the number 21 car wins heat number two. And we will be having an autograph session very soon down on the midway. You want to get a chance to get the signatures of the drivers, ask them questions. They will be available for you in a little bit.